Hi everyone, this is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas. Today I am going over my budget section of my planner with you, um, as promised. So I'm going to just jump right into it. This first section here is my checkbook register. And to make this flap here, I basically just took an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, any kind of paper you want. This is part of a Target file folder. And I folded it once here. Let's see if I can zoom you in just a little bit. I folded it once right here, um, an eighth of an inch larger than my paper. And then I folded it one more time, an eighth of an inch over. So it gives it a little gusset here. So you have plenty of room in there for your printables without it getting bulky or bulging. So that is basically how I made this. It's super easy. And then I just matched up my planner inserts and punched it. A lot of people asked me how I labeled this. These labels came with the Target dollar spot file folders. And then these stickers are just some letter stickers that I purchased at Walmart. Then I open it up and here's what my checkbook register is. It's just like any other checkbook register um, that you could get free at the bank, but it's larger. Um, you can fit more on one page and the, the letter, the writing is smaller. Um, and this is in the A5 size, so a spot for your date, your check number. I will also put it just a check mark there once I've balanced my checkbook and I know at that point in time it is um, works out it's balanced a check for when the checks clear or the transactions clear a debit for all my subtractions a credit for all my deposits and then the balance super simple just like any other checkbook register so what I do with this is once I have a whole page of these done and all of those checks clear I will take it and put it under here. That way I don't need to look back at that ever until the beginning of the, the next year um, when it's time to get, get it back. And then over here, I might only have one or two that have cleared, but I know that I need to go back and check this to make sure those, those transactions have cleared the bank and those outstanding transactions. So what I'll do is I will keep the pages that have transactions that I haven't cleared over like this, and then this will be the page that I'm working on. So when I'm opening up my budget section, I can go like this. These are the transactions. Maybe some of them haven't cleared. And then this is the page I'm working on. Just like that, super simple. Okay, so now with my budget section, I'm gonna move you over a little bit farther so you have plenty of room to see over here and I'm going to open this up. I labeled it again with the Target One Spot labels that came with the file folders. I made this flat the same exact way that I made this flat. And then here's more of my free printables. I put an annual bill schedule on this side. I just printed it off and stuck it on with some double-sided tape. And to use this, I will put every bill that I have for the month. Now, I don't have this many bills, <laughs> but um, I made it nice and big for anybody that does have that many bills. So, um, and I will list them in order of the date they're due. Then I'll put the payee down here, and usually I'll try to squeeze in over here the amount of the bill, what I have budgeted for it. And then as I pay them, I just check them off. Um, if you want, you could put in the actual amount of the bill there too. That would work great. And then you'll be able to look back and see how much your bill fluctuates throughout the year, for example, for electric or water, sewer, that kind of thing. Over here, I use, these are my monthly, how I plan them out every month. Um, so I'll put the month up here. Up here, I will put the date, the first of the first payday, and I'll do that for each consecutive payday there. Then the income goes here. I write the word income here, and then I'll put the amount of the income there. And down here, I will list all of my bills and or um, funds that need to go into the savings account, the amount of the bills, 
And then down here, I will put a total of what is left over after all these bills are paid. Um, hopefully, there's usually not much left over. I do like to leave just a couple dollars for a buffer, but that's about it. And that is how I do that. And then here, I will put in anything that I might need to remember. Uh, for example, like I have a birthday coming up or my car registration is due or something like that. So that is how I use those. Now, I never got a chance to finish making my printables before my computer died. So, and I haven't gotten um, Excel yet. I have to pay for it. And I have been toying with the monthly subscription, but I kind of would rather not pay a monthly payment. I would rather just purchase it. So that is how why I'm doing it this way for now. But I wanted to go over it with you in case you guys wanted to do the same thing or even make your own Excel spreadsheet. So, and this will be changing because for some reason I forgot a couple of things in my uh, account savings account breakdown here. Um, this is has more on it than last year. Every year there's just a little bit more on it. So, and there's a couple of things that I forgot. For example, back to school. Um, I usually do most of my back to school shopping at Goodwill, um, with the exception of things like shoes and backpacks and school supplies. And then Easter as well. But here is what I have for this. We have our quarterly expenses. Uh, my husband is union, so he pays dues every, well, it's monthly, but I pay them quarterly ahead of time, as well as garbage, our oil changes, we have two vehicles and they're about, it's about $50 each. And then clothing, clothing for six of $120 quarterly. That's not much at all, but I do most of it um, at Goodwill, really. So this is, seems to be plenty for us. There's a few things like jackets and, you know, underclothing and stuff like that, that does not come out of Goodwill, but you know. Um, so this seems to be plenty for us for right now. And then over here, I wrote down the monthly deposit. So for example, this is quarterly. That means I need to break this amount up into three, month, um, pay, three monthly payments, and this is what they work out to be. So for my quarterly, I need to put in $127. And that is just an example for you guys. My semi-annual, we pay our car insurance monthly, and I know that there's some semi-annual expenses that we have, but I just can't think of them right now. And I didn't have them on for last year. So I'm gonna talk with my husband and see if we can't figure that out. Otherwise, this may go away because I'm thinking that the quarterly is taking care of it. So, and then I have my annual and I have a few things over here that need to come over here. But for example, our car registrations, um, we live in the state of Wisconsin. So in Wisconsin, it's $85 per vehicle. So it's $170. Then I would take that and divide it by 12, add it over here. And then this column would all get added up. We have birthday. I have left the birthdays, family, Christmas, and tax prep um, blank because I'm not sure exactly how much tax prep is going to be. Um, our tax situation is changing this year quite a bit. So, um, and I haven't talked about these with my husband yet. I have a good idea, but I just want to be sure before I put it down. And the same with these. Um, oh, I kind of guess I could have wrote work boots down. Uh, my husband buys a new pair of work boots every two years. He gets the good ones um, that are comfortable for him. He is a very hard worker. Um, he's a, a con commercial carpenter so he does a lot of heavy working and he's on his feet all day so he needs a good pair of work boots so we and we get a pair every other year so we would take that 200 and divide it by 24 and add it over here um, tires are about six hundred dollars and he gets those every three years and then home projects we also need to talk about haven't gotten to that yet so that you guys is a breakdown of my budget section in my binder I will have all of these printables up for you for free on my blog. I'll put the link down in the description box and I hope you enjoy them. If you use them, um, leave me a comment and tell me what you think. And if you have some ideas for other printables that you would like to use, um, but haven't been able to find, let me know and I will see if I can't create them once I get 
uh, my software back up and running because I really do love doing that and, and, and giving them out to you guys. That is like my little way of saying thank you for being a subscriber to my channel. So thank you guys and have a great day. Bye.